Camelon, Jackie versus Aka Wonder? Um, I think my maybe uh, Aka Wonder is uh, a little bit favorite because um, he he got like just like decent decks, right? Right. So, but uh, as you said, um, it's so. I mean, like we see Jade Rogue here with the with the cubes, and uh, I wonder how that goes. Yeah. yeah. Like, the cube is very good card, uh, I have to say. Like, it's performing very well in the control world right, these yeah. days, so... Cube lock, right? Cube lock, yeah. Cube so, lock P. And, like, if you hit some Death Rattle and if the game is long, the, the value is extreme. So, right. it might be very good in, against Druid. And, like, speaking about Druid, it's very hard how to build a deck at the moment. Because there are so many ways mm -hmm. how you can go. Because you can... The Arcane Tyrant is so strong if you nourish. Because you get... Even if you card draw, you draw two extra cards. So if you compare it with Azur Drake and yeah. if you develop the Tyrant, it's like one card better. So it's insane interaction. Also can go for free after your ultimate infestation. Yeah. Well, these are basically the only spells. Sometimes you run Spreading Plague. Uh, like if the Druid would have another great five mana spell, then the card would be super OP and it might be one of the best cards when yeah. you know new cards will release over time. But now it's very hard how to build a druid. Like the spellstone is incredibly powerful card. If yeah. you compare it with living roots, like the one-one tokens wasn't yeah. that uh, you know attractive mode for control players, and now it upgrades it if you draw it from ultimate infestation. It's very important interaction and immediately deals for damage. So that's the new version of druid. I feel these control druids are stronger than J druid at wow. the moment. So you can you know, see some fresh air in the Druid class. So well, this, this deck's been pretty interesting from Aka Wonder so far. In fact, in the game versus RDU's Warlock, one of the reasons that this deck lost was because RDU waited until the only card left in Aka Wonder's deck was one Jade Idol, mm -hmm. and then RDU played Gnome Feratu, mm -hmm. just discarded it. <laughs> and at that point, Aka Wonder, he, he just remembered at that point, ah, oh, there's Gnome Feratu in the deck, and he, yeah, he looked pretty frustrated by that. But that was a very interesting win condition there. This is going to be an odd matchup. Do, do either of you know anything about Jade Rogue? Well, I guess no quiet. one knows anything because, like, <laughs> I haven't seen it on a ladder, to be honest, and no. I was playing a lot. Um, I mean, like, it might be good if the control environment will be right. there because, you know, the Rogue isn't that great in defense if against every pressure. And uh, I see a lot of control decks in this tournament, so if Jade Rogue should be good, it should be good now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but on the other hand, like the control decks, they, they have like this uh, combo aspect, and then Jade Rogue is just not good, right? Because you can't outvalue like a cube lock or or a priest. Probably, I'm, probably. They got a bunch of new tools, obviously, the cube. Uh, the Shadow Cast has already been in the deck for a long time, but then there's Sonya as well, the, the new three mana rogue legendary. If you can just keep running these Jade guys in, then, then that could really go off. Yeah, I just know that you shouldn't drop patches as uh, Jackie did a while ago. It's so bad at the game. Then. Should drop Kalisath, should not draw patches. Yeah. Yeah. Crypt Lord? Yeah, Crypt Lord was a good pickup from Shesh Bagler. But like, I have to say, I really like the new meta because a lot of things changed. Because uh, the Cabals and Gnomes are incredible power for expansion. Mm -hmm. So it means that all decks are not that great anymore because, you know, if everyone else has better cards, then the old versions of the decks are not good enough. So sometimes expansion hits and nothing changed because, yeah. like, some established decks are too OP. Well, it wasn't the case here. And now every, every day you play on ladder, you see completely different decks. Like, yeah. and it's changing every day. And so it's so, so exciting. So... And that's the thing, a bunch of players have really struggled to prepare for this tournament as well. I've been speaking to them over the last few days and they said, there are just so many decks. I have no idea what to bring. There are just so many decks and we don't know yet which ones are good. Yeah, like this tournament will show a lot uh, because like a lot of people prepared. And like I'm playing here myself and like I felt, let's say, at a weekend, oh, I'm almost ready. And then in the next day, I saw four completely new decks, which seems to be incredibly powerful. So, right. Yeah, exactly. So it was necessary to try to improve your deck till the very last moment, because I can see most of the players saw a new deck. They were like, like an hour 
ago before the submission deadline went, and then it's very hard for a player, oh, should I bring this deck because I haven't played a single game with it, but someone tells you, oh, it's really good and you should bring it, and, you know, it's so hard well, to evaluate Like it. Cube Lock, that yeah. just appeared, like, within the last few days. I don't know if any player has been brave enough to bring it to this tournament. Um, I, saw, uh, I saw people playing it uh -huh. uh, successfully. Um, I know that Tyler brought it, but um, I think there are uh, a few players that brought it. And it's really powerful, so... Anyways, let's get back to this game of Hearthstone that's going on at the moment. It's, it's a pretty slow one. Yeah. I've not seen a rogue performing this slowly for a long time. The cube is really interesting in the action in the, in the Jade Rogue. Yeah, if you eat the eye, it's going to be a big value, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's pretty nuts when you think about it, actually. Three extra jade you get from that? Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, here we go. Arcane Tower in time. Like, I have to say the jade uh, or the control druid sometimes struggle if your opponent goes really big board, like super big, which is exactly what the jade rogue can do. So I have to say the uh, druid has to siege the initiative at some point, like play the infestation, play the free mm -hmm. tyrants or even arcane giants or something like this. Because if he's going to give the rogue infinite time, then these jades will just overgrow him. So uh, I'm pretty sure that AK is super happy that he took this nourish because like... A year ago, it was crucial to get a Vilgro SRM to ramp into your four or five drops. Well, now Nourish just ramp. Now your main goal is just to ramp into into infestation, yeah. and Nourish is giving you three to crystals for that. So it's the best ramp at the moment. So it's difficult to predict this because we don't really understand the shape of Jackie's deck. But who do you think is favored in the long run? Because if we get to the end, I can wonder just. He gets to the point where the only cards left are Jade Idol and Gadgetan Auctioneer, and he can just go, go, go and play all these Jades. But do you think Jackie maybe wins before that? Uh, it depends on how fast he uh, he cycles, and if he finds like the Auctioneer, I feel like. Yep. Yeah, like, it depends. Like, sometimes the Druid can draw the whole deck around turn 10, yep. and then then you just brought for idols every turn, if you have Auctioneer or Nourish. Um, and it's going to be difficult how... Uh, difficult to predict how fast uh, the Jackie will grow his bird, like yeah. because the Creeper, for example, is basically five mana, five five for free. So yeah, he will get it for free now. Is, is Jackie gonna play patches twice? To, yeah, 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 he can. Yeah, he can. I'm not entirely sure why he traded in the uh, the Crypt Lord first. I figured he'd just play the patches and just use those to to kill the tyrant. Either way, Corridor Creeper is. Oh, he needs to trade it because he needs to do four damage, right? Yeah. And then he just replays it because yeah, it gets Yeah, but he could have played Patches from the beginning. Because he replayed the Crypt Lord, which cost one damage anyway. Which cost one mana anyway. Oh, yeah, he could have yeah. just played Catches four times. So, yeah. not entirely sure about True. that one. But... Yeah, but the Sonya uh, with Patches or Dagan is a very nice interaction for where every Chris Luke can yeah. deal one damage. That's interaction we should have in mind. Because... Especially with Corridor Creeper on the yeah, yeah. in the hand, ready to go. Yeah. Unfortunately for Jackie, Akka Commander can actually deal with Sonya this turn uh, with the Spellstone. Yeah, like, I guess the Plague plus Spellstone will come down. And AK can also just shuffle the Jade Idols if he wants, because next turn he's going to go into Ultimate Infestation. So if he want to have it in hand, he can go for it immediately. But he, on the other hand, he's kind of lacking the card draw. And it might be crucial for him to draw another Infestation or Auctioneer. So, uh, so, so he may also just, you know, let's hold it. Like, he cannot develop Jade Idol as a 1 1 because th that's his only win condition. He want to go infinite idols. Yep. The, the best way how to approach the idol is to play it with Fandral late game because then you both right, creating chains right. and shuffles. So. Especially with Auctioneer as well. Yeah. If you can somehow like, get if that you out. can get to this, like, if your opponent doesn't creep Fandral, then it's like super, super OP. Either way, next turn, Akka is going to have Coin Ultimate Infestation, and he's going to actually start to uh, finally get through his deck. Because again, this game has just been so slow. But like, you should should get used to it because like that's how the meta looks at right. the moment. Right, but so, yeah. it's just strange to consider like this deck, which which is based around getting Jade Golems out really fast. I guess at the end of the game, that's it's not going real fast. And Rogue, we're used to being one of the fastest decks recently, and because. Jackie's not really had much to interact with. He's not been playing anything. Yeah. 
That Valspine Slayer, for example, is just kind of sitting there dead. I guess the Shadowcaster might be played, but I guess it's just going to be Jade Golem and Defender. Probably. Like, this turn is kind of weak for Jackie, yeah? My for okay. I deal with two of them, that's fine. Okay, I predict correctly. <laughs> Good job, Stan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he needs to set up um, the combo maybe for Slayer next turn, so he's saving the Jade Golem. Station 5-4. It's kind of easy play. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to speed the game up a little bit. I believe there are Arcane Giants in Akawanda's deck as well, so he can't be far off summoning them. He really needs to draw um, the auction here. I think that's why he didn't shuffle the chain. Yeah. Wow, I love how the Spellstone procs by the ultimate infestation. Yeah. That's crazy. Upgrades immediately. So now might be Jade Golems plus Slayer. Maybe even Jade Shukran to develop another Jade if he wants. To utilize the mana fully. Mm -hmm. Jackie wants to copy the Crypt Lord. I don't like that that much. Like the, the Crypt Lord is not that aggressive, right? So Maybe he wants a Defender though. Okay, okay you can go Defender and play it and play Jade Shukran. Okay, I haven't seen this. It's, it's a good one. One mana defender of Argus yeah. doesn't seem bad at all. Yeah. I'd prefer a one mana Valspine Slayer or Bone there if I'm allowed to be fussy. But... Yeah. Jackie just needs to pick up Aya or something actually impactful on the board. Yeah. So even another Jade Swarmer would be great. Yeah, he needs to do That's some good. unfair stuff with the cube yeah, like, to yeah. get a lot of value because I don't think he's gonna win. He's just gonna get you know extra tutu or whatever because like this. This druid is doing incredible powerful stuff late game, so you know, now he needs to seize the initiative, otherwise the druid will just dig deeper to, through his deck and then just set up the combo with Auctioneer. But now AK has a little bit weak turn. Yeah, I can. can uh, his, his turns before the uh, ultimate invitation weren't too great. I mean, like, he, he ramped into it, that's fine, but he's still lacking the card draw. He can cycle, but it's not what you want to do here. So he's killing the free 9 It's a little bit, you know, not uh, developing anything. Like, I'm not sure. It's, like, I, I don't think this free 9 was that scary. I would just probably play the Black Jade Blossom to start doing the Jades. Or I would kill maybe the Shadowcaster, but like the free 9 it's going to be free power forever. So. There you go. All right. So Jade's here we go. Let the Jades start rolling. Um, something we didn't mention earlier. So, obviously, players brought five deck lists. They bring mm -hmm. four to a game, and the one gets banned. Jackie didn't actually bring priests to this series. He brought mage, rogue, shaman, and warlock. And so his warlock got banned. Earlier on, he brought the priest, and it got banned. So he's tried to change his strategy there. I just think mm -hmm. that's a little bit odd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bringing priests is... Uh... I think Priest is clearly the, the tier 1 deck, so... Yeah. I think tier 1 is now Priest and, and Warlock, priest right? And priest. No, I think Warlock is... Um, I, I think, like, uh, Priest is tier 1, Warlock is tier 2, everything else is tier 3. The, pro the problem is there's so many good Priest decks at the moment. Yeah, there are so many good Priests, and, like, it's hard for going to this tournament and saying... You, you, because you don't know the deck list, and it's this last hero standing, and you might have a lineup which lose to Singleton Priest or to... Yeah. Or you might have lineup which lose to big priest, or you might have lineup which lose to dragon priest, and like if you don't know what the open has, you can just get free out. So it's, right. I feel it's very logical to bring priest for this tournament, and I think very few player didn't do that. Right? Well, he's yeah. got priest as his fifth class. Yeah. It's just yeah. strange that he's not brought it to the series. Yeah. Turn is not. So AK is just waiting and want to set up big auction turn next turn. Oh, he's getting really so, close. So now he? he's going to shuffle the idols yep. because then it's more likely that he will draw them and it's exactly what he want to do next turn. He gets like six draws next turn. Yeah. Just based on what we can see right now. Dark still innervates in, in his deck or does, one at least. So Does Jackie ever consider Valspining his own guy? He could do that, but... Um, like it, it just brings the 1-1 one, one back on the board. It's not immediately that's Jade, true, so it, it would actually not achieve that much. So I 
Okay, here we one. go. Merrick's a turn. Yeah. yeah. Next is mana first, and yeah, you were right. I can't try and okay. fix up. 11 cards left in <laughs> Gowanda's deck. That's <laughs> going to be a long. much smaller number at the end of this turn, yeah. Yeah. So another two Jade Idols in this deck. He's only playing one Jade Idol in this list normally, right? Yeah. It's difficult to even think how Jackie can go back, come back from this incredible turn. He doesn't have the tools in his hand that he needs. Well, he might have ends off right in the deck, and like yep. imagine how many minions will it bring back because there's a cube, there are double cube. small jades, and uh, possibly four. four yeah. so, so, like the ends off is definitely a good comeback mechanism for him. Yep. But it's gonna be hard without it. Like he need to do some unfair stuff. Yeah. Because, like, no talks. That's the problem. Yeah. It's not like a bunch of void lords being spawned yeah. from an Azoth, which we saw earlier from RDU. Yeah. Talking about fair stuff. Ooh. This turn is kind of not too fair, right? <laughs> so Jackie needs to draw Valera into Vanish, <laughs> and I don't think he's running those cards. Okay. Yeah. Defender is good card, but not good enough at the moment. So. <laughs> I mean, is it a good card? <laughs> oh, it's in, in average, I would say it's a good card, well, yeah. He can use the Defender of Argus with the Vilespine Slayer if he wants to kill the Auctioneer and also the 10-10. Yeah, that's what Sorry. he will do, but I'm not sure. Like, like, this was like the AK swing turn, so now his next turn is not going to be that insanely great, True. but on the other hand, like, he has very, very massive board. So the way how you approach now, you probably just town the, the cube because you want to, you know, let it die. And then you slayer the the second giant, and you can maybe clear the smaller jades. Yeah, but he's out of cards, and uh, yeah, he's out of cards. So he needs to get ends off from the top, otherwise, yeah, he's in trouble. Sam. Yeah, even then, um, might not be enough. Like then, it would be super close. I uh, I would say because. Like, AK has no board at the moment, and like it will take like two turns to go through his old deck and set up a combo. Oh. That's a good draw, though, for... Like, I think it's the, the last like Jade that, Idol. That's his last Jade Idol, so... And most of the time you want to go uh, the second Auctioneer when your deck is empty. Yep. So now I just expect the, the normal develop, like Mario Keeper plus Jade Blossom, and saving the combo. And now you can see, like, he's not that much ahead on the board. It's actually very even, but he's at 43. So whenever he picks up second card draw, he's going to be like, you know, done with the the job by drawing his whole deck. But yeah. now Jackie has a one or two turns to top deck really strongly. Otherwise, he will be in trouble, Sam. Five cards left. Five so cards. There's Nourish. There's Ultimate Devastation, Devastation Fundrow. And then it's hard to say, yeah. Uh, second innovate maybe. There should be another yeah. Jade Idol, shouldn't there? No, 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 no. no, no. He's, he's only there might one. be second uh, Jade. Yeah, but he shuffled already. Yeah, yeah but yeah, he shuffled this once, is the but one. like, this is oh, the third okay, one. So, okay. so Karn, okay, yeah. There's definitely some Enzot, Enzot <laughs> stuff going on, but there's no Enzot yet. So I expect the cube trading into Giant, yeah. So now to one one. Well, that sets up for the Jades in a future turn, and yeah. Jackie still just about has time at the moment. Yeah, but the but question is how many future turns will you have? Yeah, that's the problem. Well, like, next turn you're gonna have, like, when you trade these one ones, you're gonna have 4-4 four, four and 5-5, five, five, right? So it can hold for a turn. So now what's the play? You Ooh, just, you just nourish, three. draw the remaining cards in your deck, and you play... Oh, Tyrant. Right? Oh, it's second Tyrant, okay. And of course, Ultimate Infestation. All right. So now you can play uh, Tyrant and you oh. can shuffle the Jade Idols, most How likely. How does Jackie keep up with this? And you can still uh, play the Maya Keeper on top if you want. Yeah, yeah. like obviously, play Mark Keeper as well. And the next turn you just go Auctioneer and hope you will just not fizzle. Jackie's draws really haven't gone his way in this game, though. Like, he should have been a much higher tempo. Wait, like, where's Aya? So stop underestimating him. Like, if he pulls out an Enzo oh, from yeah, the top, yeah, then, sure. then it's going to be a completely different story. Yeah. If anyone can do it, I'm sure Jackie Chan is the man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's radical during the free one, then developing Mire Keeper. Mm. He's also not shuffling the idols. It's <gasps> interesting. Oh, there's the man. The the uh. the it's a shame that there's not much space on Jackie's board this turn. Well, it's exactly enough. He will bring 
these three guys back, right? You might get a cube. And then a cube. That's it. Like, there wasn't any mistress or any, any bad death rattles. So it's a lot of stats, you know? Do you think he'd prefer just Jade Swarmers or would he prefer to get a cube in? Cube. Oh, there's mistress of mixtures. There's mistress. Okay, that's definitely the minion he's not preferring. Uh, I, I guess the cube is immediately for six, so it's dealing damage. Okay. Well, and, now can, of and now you can see like how how badly AK Wonder misplayed because uh, if he's gonna shuffle the idols, he's not gonna draw it immediately. He's gonna take fatigue damage mm -hmm. instead, so he will end up with one less jade on the board that's and, true. and also take one fatigue damage. And this could be like super game changing because like. Now he's gonna have like less 8-8 eight, eight stats on the board or something like this, so... He's still looking like he's in a solid position from where I am, Especially but because the last card was in Ovid. Yeah, yeah, but Jackie could pick up a second fast point like, Slayer, for like example. It's like, now uh, the Jackie has better board, like, because... Like, he can go face, maybe, mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, it depends, like, what Jackie will draw. If he will draw de some dead cards, then it's not gonna be enough, yeah. but... If he draws like Aya, for example, then he can Ooh. probably somehow clear and deal some face damage and win over two turns. I actually thought Aka's turn would end with more Jade Golems on the board. Yeah. That's a shame. He had to shuffle. There, there wasn't a Foundry, was there? No, he's not running Foundry. It's weird, yeah. Like, because it's super strong in these Miracle turns. But, like, yeah, the previous turn was super big misplayed. And he did, like right. he could have, like, two more Jade Idols in the deck, so now he could go one with another 6-6 six, six on the board. Yeah. Like, the, the, the way how he's doing it, he shuffled a lot of Jade Idols because he want to go Infestation next turn oh, okay. and, then and then play six Idols. But he could be dead in the meantime because look at the at the Jackie's board. Well, Stan, you and Jackie have definitely proven me wrong because now suddenly it looks like we have a complete turnaround. Despite how good Aka Wonder's Miracle turns have been, you're right, that, that little mistake earlier has cost him. Okay, well, why didn't uh, Jackie now trade the 4 4 and develop the Creeper? We would have one extra stat on the board. Like, does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. But now, if with Infestation, it's going to 5 5, so he said 28, and there is. 9, 13, 17, 23, 10, 25, 26, so it's not lethal. But the turn after there should be lethal because the Jade doesn't have a town, so yeah. he will have him in a two turn clock. So, Also, bear in mind, Jackie should have perfect information about this deck because Akawanda revealed all of these cards yeah. earlier on in the first series. So, so as long as someone scouted for yeah. him or Jackie's paid yeah, attention. Yeah, so he knows there's no Yogg, for example. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's a Yogg, he knows there's no spreading plague. Or yeah, like, like that. Uh, the Yogg is actually a very viable option for, for the Miracle Druid. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people run it because you simply don't have ways how to handle these big boards. And so you uh -huh. can see, yeah, Yogg is not reliable or whatever, but yeah. like... Like now you would have, like let's say 50-50 if you would play Yoke on here and it's better than losing. So mm. I can see why so many people play Yoke over Naturalize, for example. The problem with yeah. Yoke now is that Cataclysm exists as a card. Oh. And just like Astral Communion used to discard yeah, your like hand. That's that. But there are still plenty of good cards. There's Ultimate Infestation exists for Yoke, so a lot of good cards. So I wouldn't yeah, like be... That's true. ...that hard for Yoke. Gotta play the game of percentages, I guess. Yeah. But bringing Yogg to an offline tournament is awkward, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, why? Like, Did, I remember you... when, when it was good, like before the nerf, the card was so, so good. Yeah, is that yeah, how you make friends, was... Kamlin? Yeah. You bring Yogg to a tournament. So, yeah. You win a game you would have lost otherwise well by played. playing Yogg. Yeah. Well played. You give him the well played, the greetings, the happy feast of Wintervale. <laughs> oh, I missed that, yeah. So, now, so now Jackie needs to set up a little because. The next turn, two big jades will would be developed, so he needs to make sure he will set it up, but he, he has the way how to do it, right? Because with Aya, there's a lot of stats on the board. So now face, and it's GG. Amazing. Like, what a comeback for Like, AK can develop a decent board, but <laughs> unluckily for him, it's not going to be enough, yeah? Does he do it anyway, just for the memes? Summon a board full of jade golems, yeah. and then concede. Yeah, he does it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. We're at Seed Story. <laughs> <laughs> there are no dreams, only memes. Yeah, it was close, yeah. And it, it was the end of Subdeck, obviously. Yeah, it was the, uh, the turn around in this game, but... Uh, are you I, right, though, Stan? You said Nazoth is the card that can yeah. bring Jackie back. Yeah, like... Um, there was a moment where AK didn't shuffle the three idols back, so it would 
he would have like extra jade, so he would have an additional 7-7, which could trade. He would probably still lose if I'm correct, but it would be so much closer. Also, like it's about the deck building. Like I'm not sure if the Naturalize is the best card because if yeah. you would have Fandra in the list over that, then he could go much better Miracle turn. You can go. Uh, uh, let's say the turn you have Nourish, you can go Fandral, Jade Idol, so you shuffle free and create the Jade Idol, then you play Nourish and then you play two more, so you yeah. basically play six Jades if you compare it with the Shuffle and with the Develop, so... It's so tricky immediately after mm -hmm. an expansion to know exactly what the best version of these yeah. lists are. And again, Stan, like, you're the expert when it comes to this, and speaking to some players last night, I did hear your name being thrown out, out around as one of the players to watch out for. Yeah, like, uh, this year it was funny, like, because this year we had two expansions, and, and you, so you far, and I won two tournaments, and both were right after expansion You had the Hearthstone Global Games Finals. Yeah, well, well, right after, after and we had a oh. tournament in Life School House, like, week, week before, like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it was, like, the first day after expansion when we played the Quest Rogue. It was very funny. So. Yeah, that was funny, yeah. So, yeah, I also feel pretty comfy when the expansion hits, yeah, because it's a lot of work <laughs> to do. Ooh. I think I wonder if was patches here. Rogue Mirror Time, and... Oh, both patches. Patches on both sides. Oh, it's fair now. That, right? That's fair, yeah. That's fair. fair enough. Uh, so who should be favorite? I guess, uh, like... Um, Tempo. Tempo should be favorite yeah. because the Jade Rogue doesn't have good defense mechanism. It no. can, you know, do unfair stuff as we saw with the ends off and with all these cards or with the cube. Jade Swarmer But if is someone is just, slow. you know, pushing your face, yeah. there's so, so few interaction you can offer. So I expect AK to be in the driver's seat. But anything can happen, like especially if you have cube for a good target, it might be kind of turnaround. Yep. But in average, I would say AK is pretty, pretty good, good, um, in good, in good position or whatever. Sure. <laughs> yeah. The hands are pretty even. Both players have uh, patches and corridor creeper. I mean, like it's one of the worst and one of the best cards uh, you're looking for. No Kalisa. Uh, what is Jackie doing, by the uh -huh. way? He's um, oh, he spent the whole turn trying to decide whether or not to play patches. Okay. Yeah. Roping them patches. Uh, Such PM. Kamlan, are you, um, you know, experienced with how to play with Creeper? Is it card you should keep, let's say, uh, in your starting hand if you are playing some aggro matchup? Do you think it's, like, because you don't develop the curve turn one, turn two, while on the other hand, around turn four, you have, you know, this crazy thing. So you think it's good enough to keep, for example, in some... Some te uh, tempo yeah. matches. I, I think uh, I think it's uh, good enough to keep. It depends on your deck because you play it obviously in almost every aggressive deck mm -hmm. and on the matchup. So, um, but in most cases uh, you can keep it, especially if you have the coin. Mm -hmm. um, I know really good uh, players that keep it even without the coin in faster matchups, mm -hmm. uh, even without having another uh, fast card. Yeah. So. It's just such a crazy swing when you do get it down mm -hmm. on turn two or turn three. And do you think it's uh, like uh, very good in a, you know, both if there are two decks which play the minions, then it's much better than if you play aggro deck versus control, right? Because yeah, sure. then on the other side of the board, the minions don't die that fast. So, so I can see if there's a tempo matchup based on minions, like rogue versus zoo, the card is simply nuts, right? Yeah, or especially in aggressive druid, yep. you just keep it. Well, Akko on to start definitely seems stronger than Jackie's. We go into turn turn four. He's got the Sound like Chain Gang into the Cobalt Scalebane. Looking pretty good. What does Jackie have? He has three mana five points. Yeah, according to Creeper turn three. And now we see uh, why this card is so good. Uh, Zola the Gorgon. Like, Jackie's going deep, I like, guess, as, as right. always. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not sure if we saw that card earlier. Mm. I, I was, I didn't know that it was in the deck. Um, so if, if you don't know the card, it adds a golden copy of a card you target to your hand. Yeah, it's golden. That's what's crucial, right? That's the crucial part of the card, exactly. <laughs> I saw a load of people complaining online saying, I bet they make a card that says all golden cards get a 1-1 one -one buff. Like, That's a bit stupid, isn't it? That's yeah. not going to happen. Oh, like, card, I yeah, wouldn't be that sure. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. There's the Scalebane and uh, take the value trade. Sorry, the Chain Gang and then Scalebane probably going to come down next to it. What is Jackie hoping to target with Zola the Gorkin? This this is such a slow day. And so, maybe late game. <laughs> oh, he's going to be waiting a while. Oh. That one. <laughs> I mean, like. If you, if like you, the cube is definitely good uh, minion to hit, right? Because 
Yeah. It's providing a lot it's of true. value. Or you can, like, sometimes you don't want to kill these death rattles. So, but, like, like, like Aya or Jade's Farmer or whatever. Like, now, it's not going to be that amazing, but, like, in, it's... Like, the Zola is for the control matchups. It's not against, oh, yeah, against like aggro. Value uh, just doesn't but matter. But still, on the other hand, uh, what kind of control legs are there? There's, like, the, the control Warlock, and you can't, like, outvalue him. Are you sure about that? Because if you hit the Aya? Uh, yeah, of course, but not uh, not with card, cards like this. Because it takes forever, right? Uh, but the Warlock isn't that fast as deck, and, like, if you go Enzo, today he need, kind of needs to twist it nether, while... You still have some DZ rattles from Aya, or you can get the Chase Farmers. I, I'm not sure if you cannot outvalue the Warlock. Uh, the, the Cube Warlock just raises you. Not sure, not sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, What's going on right now? Uh, <laughs> he, like, do you see? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's probably going to die, like, for unluckily for him. It's, it's lethal. It's lethal, It right? is definitely uh, lethal with the Cold Blood yeah. as well. Yeah. Leary Cold Blood, it's a lot of damage. He uh, can even coin out patches. Yeah, he should do that. He should do for that. For memes, yeah. If we're, if we're really BMing each other today, then I think patches with the cold blood is I'll be. I can wonder playing it straight. He wants to get the win. Don't forget, loser of this series is out it's of the tournament. It's out. And it's, like, normally it sucks a lot to being out at the tournament, like in the first stage, because then you need to, you know, just stay there and watch. While at the seed story, no one minds it that much, because, like, it's so cool event to just hang out, you yeah. know? But yeah, I, I don't think AK will want to get out. Like he's very competitive. Like sometimes he looks like super relaxed guy. He doesn't care, but he's super competitive. Like you can see it. Like whenever you talk to him or whenever mm -hmm. you know see him in action. You guys have both been to Seat Story multiple times before, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. You enjoying the event so far today? Like we always enjoy it. Yeah. Cool vibe downstairs. It's yeah. one of the best events. Like guys, so if you live around like all over the you know driving distance, like you should just go here and, and hey, visit. Because, even if you like, don't. Even if you don't. <laughs> yeah, you can hop fly on from plane. America and like... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> America, Asia, wherever you want. Just hop on yeah, But plane. like, this is like one of the best tournaments for the visitors. So like, yeah. I would encourage everyone to just come here and visit, yeah? yeah. All right, Jackie, going to queue up this Tempo Mage. Now, this is... This is normal deck. It seems like the most <laughs> normal deck that I've seen from Jackie in a little while. For a while, yeah. <laughs> and the deck is good, actually. Yeah. It's great. It's very powerful. Like uh, the new secret, the explosive runes. Mm -hmm. It's so much better than Mirror Entity because, oh. like, like if you knew that your opponent has Mirror Entity, you could just you know let's play one one and it wasn't that exciting. But it's close to impossible to play around explosive runes because if you play just a small minion, it takes so much damage. You know, it's, so. it's often better than Fireball even. Yeah, because it deals six damage. The remaining damage goes to the face. Uh, it's great and an aggressive deck. It's really strong because um, in, in the tempo match you need two resources. One is board and the other one is face damage. Mm -hmm. And the secret um, does it all. Yeah. Does it all, yeah. So how is Jackie going to take this turn? He can start with Sorcerer's Apprentice and coin out the Glyph if you want. to. He can go Arcanologist and coin out the Lucky and play oh, the secret better, for free. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's probably the play. That's yeah. really good. And then next turn he can just play Apprentice and Glyph and, and then yeah. just go off with that. Three damage phase. Yeah, that's really good. Which secret will he get? We've seen Mirror Entity, um, Explosive Runes, and Counter Spell all counter in this deck. Oh, he plays all of them. Yeah. Most of the player plays like, like Counter Spell and Runes are kind of auto include. Well, that's what I thought. I was talking to Sodl about this earlier, and, uh, and we had a little bit of a, a debate about how many secrets you need to run in this deck. I was surprised when I saw Mirror Entity. I didn't mm -hmm. think that that was standard at the moment, but um, I thought Runes yeah. just kind of replaced it. Like, uh, the reason why you run so many secrets now is because there's a Lunet, the legendary yeah. mage weapon. And for that, you need to have extremely cheap curve because otherwise you would be just overdrawing this all guy. the time. This guy. And, and so, and the best way how to turn your resources in hand into the board or into the tempo is the lucky with the secret because for one mana, you get two one and plus the secret. It's incredibly big. Yeah, you spend two cards, but like you have a lot of cards with Alunet. And if you run both um, the four free and the lucky, uh, then you need a lot of secrets. So yeah. that's like before we saw like three to four secrets. Now we saw, see like five to six secrets most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, although um, the the list with uh, um, Frostnova, they only play four mm -hmm. secrets, yeah. right? Yeah, th that's the other way. Like if you have the Alunet, you can also just you know give up the board and have playing the Frostnova and Ice Block, and then you can just u utilize all all your resources as a burn damage. Yeah, yeah because it doesn't really matter if you overdraw because mm -hmm. you just burn. Yeah. So these are basically two approaches how we can go with the tempo match at the moment, yeah. Which one do you like more? It depends like what you want to beat. Uh, 
because let's say a versus priest, the, the running the Frost Nova isn't that appealing. But if you are racing versus aggressive decks, the Frost Nova and Icebook is definitely the way how you should go. Quick, Stan, what's the pick? I think the runes should be the pick. It's a, lo yeah. a lot of yeah. damage. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Because it's discounted, so like it's free. You you're gonna play it for free, and breath would be for free. But like this is better. Eventually, you could pick the flame strike and uh, you know try to play some you know uh, value game. But I just like the runes and just going face. Yeah. Especially because you have Elunet, so yeah. you you, yeah. you will draw your. Opponents. Why clear the board after your opponent plays minions when you <laughs> could clear the board while he's playing minions? Yeah, and also deal with face damage. Yeah. Instead of clearing the board, you can clear your opponent's face, so that's fine. Clearing your opponent's face is usually the correct play. Yeah. So now it's now it's a decision to make. Like you can trade two free and pink, play and counter spell. Or you can yeah. use the fireball and just go face. I, I really like this play. Yeah, the counter spell and the trade. I have to say I'm not that sure you because going face? Uh, because like you lose two stats on a board and. You didn't deliver phase damage on the other hand to a fireball. Like uh, the, the issue is with that is that the two one can die to dagger and the counter spell doesn't do anything against yeah. the minions. But like like I have to say, the mage is in such a perfect oh, yeah. spot that like, both both ways should lead to the victory. I don't think Jackie easily. cares too much about uh, him having his minion cleared because Echo Wonder had to face tank that damage and that's two more damage to his face. Yeah. The fireball is going to be even more damage. Whatever minion. Uh, Jackie gets from Mirror Entity mm -hmm. is going to be even more damage. Like, yep. He's getting there very fast. Yep. So now Entity plus Fireball will be played. The question is, is phase. Fireball going face or it can clear the Captain yeah. and going face with Sorcerers? Because you don't mind if the game will be a little bit longer because with Alunet you will, you know, That's true. get the resources you need. That's true. But like, yeah. once again, both paths leads to the certain my victory. Gut, my gut is that face is the place here. Yeah. Because as you said, the Aluna, you draw so much stuff. Just Fireball, Frostbolt, great. Game yep. over. Fireland Portal, Frostbolt, great. That'll do it too in a few turns. I think he's only running one Fireland Portal then. Right. Well. Yeah. Most of the people do these days. But like, whatever Aka Wonder plays here. He just, Cold Blood gets counterspelled. Ken gets copied. And then Jackie has even more damage. Just, this looks unwinnable to me from Aka Wonder's position. Well, he can play Captain and SI. Clear the board, and then he has quite good one. But like, I can see if Jackie would be insanely unlucky and get all the secrets and no burn, then he can lose to to the board in few turns. Because now the value trade for the pirate will go, and the, the apprentice will be cleared with the SI. Then it's eleven on a board. So like, he has basically. Uh, Four cards to get a little, but I can see a universe when he completely blanked and they don't get these, but it's quite unlikely, yeah? yeah. Hey, there's a fireball, <laughs> and now I guess the play is fireball plus pink, yeah. because you set up little because Rogue runs no heal. Rogue has no heal well, whatsoever. Well, wait, wait, wait. There might be Schwechbuggler into, into block. ice block. Yeah, and then okay. it, this would be, win the game, so... And... Okay, mm, okay. No. not there. Is there any any lethal here? What if Lira was in the hand? Would be no, nope, we nope. wouldn't even be close. You'd need eight. Lira cold blood would be twenty one damage. Well, Lira cold blood, close. cold blood would be twenty five. Yeah, okay. Lira, Lira, two cold blood, still not great. It might be that with, with, spell with the deck hand. It's, oh, there's counter spell. Okay, yeah. that, so that was so sick. Jackie today. takes game number three. <laughs> but it, it might be that there was a fireball. Imagine there would be like you know some minion now drawn. The Alunet would be played, and they he, he could have been one off because like it was close. It was close. It was well, closer than you expected. Yeah. What do you guys think of Alunet? Like, do you think it's strong? Because a lot of the times you see games like this where the game actually ends before turn six, and and the mage wins without yeah, the. Yeah, but then there are games versus let's say priest uh -huh. and. They have so many clears that you just, it's hard to close the game very fast. And then these extra cards are super crucial. I feel Alunet is one of the best cards in the expansion for sure. Yeah. I, maybe, I maybe even the best one, yeah. I, I tend to keep it with slower matchups in yeah. your opening hand all the time. So it's, it's pretty OP. Now, this is a rough game here for Aku Wonder. Yes, the Warlock has a lot of healing, but. Because of Aluneth, the mage just has so many extra ways of going. Well, face. like the mage doesn't have that much burn. Like if you look at this way, he has double fireball, double frostball, portal, and all the stuff. Like, what's very important is how much healing cards uh, Warlock have. Mm -hmm. Because there's one mana card, sacrificial, which sacrifice a minion, heal you for eight. Dark pact, yeah. And a lot of Warlock lists now running it mm -hmm. because, like, with the recruit of five mana. 2-2, you can immediately play it and sacrifice it turn 6 and get That's a Void true. Lord. Yes. So, like, this is one of the most crucial cards in this matchup, so... 
I guess. But uh, it, it looks like he's playing the, the older version. Yeah, like it looks. Yeah, 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 it is the because older of version. the CLR. We, we saw him throw away. Oh, yeah, yeah. The okay, okay, yeah. Okay. And this version is like it's still okay versus versus aggressive decks because Warlock now performing very really well against them. But it's not. I would say let's say it's like 60-40 instead of 80-20. So. Yeah. It's crazy that the expansion's been out for one week and we're saying, oh, this is the old version. The old version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess if Jackie was running the, the Frost Nova or Ice Block version, mm -hmm. it'd be a little bit more favored because that version has a lot more burn with Pyroblast mm -hmm. and things. Okay, there should be Intellect, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, uh... I would like for one mana is very good for this matchup. Yeah. One mana draw two cards, yeah, that seems good. I'll play in any matchup. Yeah. yeah, but you spent two mana on it. So. Yeah. So now the one mana intellect will come down, right? Here we go. And now he can devil Ooh. minions, right? Yeah. Like he should play around default somehow, so he probably set up a counter spell. He knows there's a coin in hand though, so. And maybe he can trade the two one away. But he has another one in hand. But the default is. Like the other option is just to play the secret and then you have better next turn, but I, I prefer to going directly on a board. So. I much prefer this to the counter spell because the coin's in Akawanda's hand. Jackie knows that, so he, maybe now Akawanda plays well, the like, coin. Just like, to yeah, test but the imagine spell. he would play the coin to test it out and it wouldn't proc and then he played the two to red crew and get a Void Lord. It would be like yeah, a total true. disaster. So, um, so the runes will be okay. exactly. Yeah. Neg uh, you know, negating the mistress yep. because four mana will take six, then heals four. four. So it's exactly even. And now there might be coin plus creeper. Yeah, or he can play one one eventually because he's changing the two one quite nicely. And you can use the coin, to coin either void. Lord. Oh, he's tapping, and that's so passive. I don't like it at all because like um, you can look he has quite enough resources and there are no crucial cards you are looking for yeah. and now like you are falling too much behind i i don't like this step at all from ak's wonder side yeah. every single point of damage that jackie chan is dealing to echo wonder mm -hmm. really does matter the more the game yeah. we get yeah i have to say i really don't like that because he also didn't fight for the board enough like if you would develop one one divine shield it could trade the two one away for example so yeah. Coin Talk Creeper would never be the play because of the counter spells, um, but um, contesting the board with the 1-1 one, one with the yeah. Divine Shield should first just be fine. Yeah. Okay, there's a defile. How there do we set up defile with with the Zealot, right? Just yeah, yeah just that? sell out coin so to get rid of the counter spell. So Test for runes first, I guess, with this. I don't like this as much. Like, he can go... Coin test for counter spell. If it's get counter, he can help fire. Mm -hmm. But then you take free face damage. I don't like this at all, to be honest. Unless I'm missing something, and I don't think I do. It, so it buffs the spell stone, which is yeah. But helpful. you could do it after, mm -hmm. because like if you're gonna EOE, you could end up with two one on the board, and now it's, di it's just dying. Yeah, that's true. So now if you go either hellfire or zeal uh, defile, yeah, you could develop it after and have extra stats on the board. Yeah. So he thought it's Mirror Entity or what? Yeah, but whatever. Like, even if it's Mirror Entity, you play Zeot. If it's Entity, then you still clear the board. That's so true. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, starting with Zeot or with the coin was so much better. Yeah. Yeah, okay, he's a little bit nervous, I feel, today. Like, normally he's playing much better. Yeah, it was a little bit weird earlier on when he forgot that the Gnome Ferrati was an RDU's deck as well. And he's having a rough time. Yeah. So now, what's the play? I prefer to go with Apprentice on the board, right? Mm -hmm. Because, like, yeah, you can go counter spell to play around Hellfire, for example. But if your opponent's Hellfire, he lose three. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. You can go Portal on empty board, uh, then face. So, Rin doesn't feel super relevant. Like Rin, Rin has a taunt, but uh, I would always clear here. Yep. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah. Like now, it was worth considering if you don't want to have. The one one zealot in hand you could play double defile, but I prefer having defile right over over zealot in hand. So or maybe not, because you have spellstone, so we could heal for one more. Spellstone really helps here. So yeah, like five damage, heals for seven next turn, deals with the minion. Yeah, like the spellstone is also one of the best cards. So like, all the spellstones are 
incredibly strong and when the expansion hit we had no clue or at least I didn't that they are so so powerful for example the droid spell store yeah the droid spell store or the priest one or, as well, or the, the hunters priest. the hunters oh, one that one we all knew was strong yeah, yeah. but the, like it's even stronger than I expected like because like you just play secret secret and turn for you develop 12 so stats it's like Dr. Boom for five yeah, yeah. oh it's like uh, the the grim patron turn back in the days <laughs> yeah we haven't seen much from the warrior spell stone or the paladin or the shaman one yet but who knows there's still time well <laughs> stick up a taunt wait for the void lord turn yeah yeah like now, AK seems to be in driver's seat because he has a Void Lord, so he's never gonna take damage by the minions. And he also has Gul'dan to heal for five, and then he's healing free every turn. So that should be too difficult for for Mage to overcome. Maybe if he pick up like Pyro Blast from Glyph. Or well, maybe if he picks up Alunet. Alunet, yeah, but still, yeah, it's like the clock is gonna be ticking for him as well, like after the Void Lord and to Gul'dan, so. Yeah, but on the other hand, um, this version of the Warlock, he doesn't run too much heal. Yeah, like, he will heal only for free per turn, but, like, yeah, he will have little over turn 12 or something like this, so... So now, what's the play? It might be Counterspell, Medivh's Wife, Fireball Face, or... Or Glyph, instead of... Yeah, he probably shouldn't p miss the pink, right? So I would go Counterspell, Val Valet, and pink. Because like now, if you just gonna pick up you know cheaper burn, you will not utilize this hero power as a damage. So that well, this might one damage might be very crucial. This does set up for the pyroblast lethal, which and the pyroblast can come from primordial glyph. So yeah, but he could. Uh, um, okay, okay. Is it is it ever correct? Like it's like you have three outs out of thirty or something. So it's one to ten. You get a pyro, and if if you would ping. Like, yeah, I can see this, but I think it's not necessary. Especially in, in the opponent's turn. Okay, line. so now also the fireball is really little, right? Frostbolt's good. Okay, here we go, and... And... and nothing. No. Play secrets, all right. Okay, okay. Uh, and now he might be missing the damage if he didn't think so. He, Jackie now has to, has to hope that there's no healing available to Echo Wonder. Is there a Dark Pact in the deck, for example? Yeah, that yeah. could be a problem. Yeah, and like this... Gul'dan is like, a problem. Yeah, like Gul'dan is a problem. Like, and these options are super bad. And like, did, did you see a minute ago Jackie fist pumped when he got the Frostbolt? Yeah. But he's not looking as happy now. So what's Simulacrum doing? Wasn't it better to pick the sheep? Sheep? Like, which minion helps you? Uh, does Matthias Valet help? Or have they both been used? Yep. That's a good question, actually. Because, like, you can have an extra turn, right? If you yeah. get a, you know, potion of polymorph or something like yeah, this. Yeah, that's right. So now, 11. <laughs> no so demons from Gul'dan. It's fine, though. Is he doing it for the healing? Okay. Oh, Luck is no. not going to be that great. Uh, Aqua Wonder is getting over the uh, the tough part of the game now. Yeah. Actually making a comeback. This is incredible. Yeah. But honestly, I, I, I don't know what, what Jackie's holding that similar for. Yeah, now he don't even need a heal. Like He can just heal by his hero power. Yeah. Like, the game is going to be over pretty soon. Yeah? A Lune Earth would still give Jackie a chance, right? No, it wasn't it like isn't it too slow because Probably like, he will draw only these three extras and like these three extras cannot burn like for fifteen he would need, so it's not enough. The cards are left in like the I, I, I don't expect Humunculus to hit the board. <laughs> <laughs> I think not some another tone. Yeah. It's just like BM though. Yeah. It could be BM like when he will be BM. fully healed but Look at me, I'm helping you. Oh, yeah, look, there's, there's the fireball. fireball. He needed a few turns ago to win the game. Oh. Oh, boy. What's the life total? Seven. Oh, yeah. Uh, six, Is there nine? Both like, glyphs have glyph been used. Glyph into Pyro or Bovino. No, have both been used? No. no yeah, no. they were. First was for intellect, and the second is yeah. for... Intellect, that's right. Two, two. Well, that's not going to do it. That's though. bad, that's bad. There aren't two more fireballs. It's a little bit with this play. Yeah, it must be. 
Seven, eight, yes. ten damage yeah, goes. Yes, yes. Yeah. And now we'll look what if the potion of polymorph would be set up then. The, this uh, four five would be one one. And would it be lethal? It wouldn't be, right? He would have twelve now, and now he would. Yeah, like if you remember, imagine picking yeah. the potion of polymorph it over. Just doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it doesn't Jackie, matter anymore. Yeah. Jackie but. gonna concede. He has one deck left. It's going to be the control lock versus Jackie's overload shaman. Can either of you tell me anything about Overload Shaman? It had, I, I saw it had Snow Fury Giant, it had Ancestor's, um, uh, is that Ancestor's Spirit? Is that what the card's yeah, called? Yeah, I do you remember last year when the Sh Jackie brought the Ancestor's Spirit Shaman. Just loves that card. And like, he ended up in the finals with the deck, so, right. and we were like, oh my god, what's this Shaman? I never it, saw this. Was it Crusher Shaman? Where yeah, you well, Spirit, like, the Earth Elemental? And, but and ma many, many people played it over the last couple of Seed Story Cups. I think Seed Story Cup is, uh, is the tournament where you can see the most uh, control Shaman builds out there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's very popular. Shaman Spellstone. Uh, guys, I haven't seen this deck at all, and I, I feel like I go deep, like, while, while I'm the deck building, I never went that deep, so I <laughs> Really, really no, I'm curious, curious how it will work. Stuck down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Jackie needs to find his way back out. Okay, okay. Summon one copy of a friendly minion. I, I don't even know what the lesser Sapphire Spellstone does, so now I have to re read that. Yeah. yeah, I believe the most graded version is just summon three copies of a friendly minion. How good is that? Like uh, if, compared with the priest spells, well, yeah, like, it's, so, so, a, it's so much worse. Like, you just lose to a board clear, right? Like a twisting nether or a vanisher. Or a well, maybe screen. if you get some death rattle, like you can get the seven eight, put the death rattle, bring it back, and then you get a copy with the spellstone. Yeah, yeah. It's tough mulligan for Jackie. As he eventually decides to throw everything away. Okay. Okay. Let's see if there's something. But oh, there's new hex. Oh hex my god. Hex costs four so, mana now. So, so good card. Yeah. Actually, like, in this matchup, it's a really, really good card. <laughs> right? yeah, but like, is it that relevant? It costs four over three. It doesn't matter that nah, much, it right? Doesn't. Yeah, no, no. It like, doesn't. it was so weird. Like when the hex got nerfed. Like because like you never met this card in the letter, and suddenly it got nerfed. Like, <laughs> like I have to say, like the Blizzard is doing a really good job otherwise. Like I feel yeah. the nerf of Plague was so good. Yeah. The War Leader was perfectly nerfed. That it's still there the moral opponent, but it's not as OP. Mm -hmm. But the, the hex nerf. I don't get it all, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe the, the, the Hex Nerf was good, but uh, the it's timing just, was bad. Right? It's just such an impressive card. It, it, it's true. Like, there, were, there were ages where, where the Hex was really good. But, uh, Look at that. Do you know that card? Oh, it's, Do you eight damage? You know, the, 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 the dungeon bosses are running this card, so I know that. But uh, <laughs> I know that you've been playing a lot of dungeon <laughs> runs today. But yeah, otherwise, I, I, I it's, it's overload three, right? Yeah, yes. it's overload three deal eight damage. It's killing my giants all the time. <laughs> oh. oh, feels bad, man. Oh. You know, I need to think how, how the deck works. Like, it's actually a pretty, pretty good challenge. So. You set up white eye and then you give a copy and then okay. Should we just let Stan Solo cast this? So, cast this? so like uh, the good thing for Jackie is that he has a hex. So if he hexes the Void Lord, then uh, Gul'dan is not gonna bring the Void Lord back. And if he has enough heal, he can have maybe enough value to outvalue the Gul'dan. But I have to say, it's very hard to outvalue the Gul'dan's hero power. So right. Yeah. How, how good is written in this matchup? Like, if it got hexed, Ring probably hexed, no, that's right. great. Exactly. But, but if it doesn't get hexed, it should be good, right? Yeah, because you have, like, three hex targets, right? You have Rin and the double Void Lord. Uh, maybe there's Z-Wolf as well, right? That's yeah, true. Okay. Is Void Lord really an important hex target, do you think? Because it doesn't deal much damage, obviously. Well, like, it's... But it's de doing the damage forever. Yeah. Like... Void Walker... Like Free you can see, yeah, it's my, it's doing only three damage. But if the, the game goes like twenty five turns, then you take seventy five damage over that. Yeah, but Crushing Hand deals with it for two mana. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> you know this, Stan. You were just telling me you know this card. Yeah, I know that. But it's doing only eight, and the Void Lord yeah. is three nine. So yeah. It, yeah, but you could. Well, That's true. Or well, you can get like you know spell power to them. Ooh, Alpha Shaman. So. Uh, it must be, I think it's overload three mana crystals to get the spellstone to upgrade. So we should already be on the. So he's almost there. On the second stage. <sighs> oh. Take a look. Yeah, it's summon two copies. Yeah, so of overload mana. three more mana so, crystals. So how do we set it up? Like, um. Uh, how do we set it up? You just need to have Earth Elemental randomly on board, and then you play the. <laughs> give it Death Rattle and summon three copies of that, and yeah. then you get. 
four, seven, eight, which will come back. I think people it's are doing a, it with Snow Fury, Snow Fury Giant as well. Like you can just develop it straight away, uh, yeah. give it the ancestors call, and then duplicate it. Yeah. So it basically bades out two twisted nethers, right, or something like that. Yeah. This. Exactly. So that's actually a pretty good board. If Jackie, oh, I, I'm, I'm excited to see this match. Like, if Jackie's gonna win this, like, it's. <laughs> you want to see him win this time? Yeah, like. I have to say I like Warlock, so I'm sure. But no, no, no. I would love to see this shaman working. It's, okay. like, it's like so cool. How about you, Carolyn? Do you, do you think there's a favorite here? Um, like, I, I cannot see the Warlock not being favorite in the value matchup. I'm like, actually uh, not too sure. I have to say I'm not sure. Like I have never saw this, and like, and you know, Jackie is not stupid, so like he probably tested this matchup. And th th that's the adv advantage you have if you bring these Wacky decks. You are playing the matchups you played several times because you are playing against the standard decks, but your opponent didn't have a chance to meet anyone with them, so it's very, very hard to play around them. I mean, so. You know it's a weird situation when you're sitting next to Stan, Stan Sifka and he's saying, I've never seen this deck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Fantastic. Against the older version um, of the Warlock, um, aka Wonders Running, um, the Shaman might just not be too bad. It might yeah. be favored. I'm not too sure. But uh, there's double nether. And like you can stall with the towns and then you get it back with Gul'dan. And the Gul'dan is killing like the minion like two yeah, turns. It depends on how greedy the, the list of Warlock is because like... If there's at least, for example, there's extra pack or something like this, okay, but another spellstone. Okay, so now he can go all in, but he would be sad because the nether will be used. But what's he trying to bounce out in this deck? Um, he uh, might white run eyes maybe or is, is he running or Karen, for example? Yeah, okay. Is he running Goya? <laughs> oh, Goya. Ah. For what? Um, Goya shaman. Normally, if you if you like, play you shuffle the, the the totem back and then you play Goya and get yeah. And then you draw a totem. Then you, later. Get, then you get what like barns or like for <laughs> no 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 for, no, for the white eyes yeah, for seven seven like it might be yeah. okay the okay. storm guardian but there's no way of actually utilizing that right now. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Like he was super set for like like yeah if there's a current it could be a different story right because yeah. you can you can get four currents on a board and. He really wants his next few draws to be Snow Fury Giant and uh, Ancestral Spirit so that he can yep. go off. <laughs> There's a lot riding on this game. Mm, yeah. So, like now, AK has a decision because if he plays the Void Lord, it might be from his perspective he could get devolved and be almost dead on the board. Or, or hexed. Yeah, uh, he hexed storm plus something. Yeah. Well, it could be like Jade Lightning if it's there or something. So yeah. it might be that he won't, he will not be feeling safe and he will use Twisted Nether, but there's a resource he should save probably. So he can also just use a Dreadlord and Mistress and Coil attacking into 7-7 seven, seven and then developing the rain. Yeah, it's it's really bad that he he got um, double void lord Endrin in his hand yeah. for the oak heart. Yeah, like oak heart, I feel the card is not good enough, like because very often you get this void lord somehow pulled out by the the five mana guy two two with your cool minion, and then Ooh. this card is not doing anything. So okay, so that's the play I like. I have to say, it, it looked like he changed in a very fast uh, second. Yeah. Not sure about not tapping because I, uh, I feel you kind of want to get. There's the hex. Him. All right, okay. So that's one huge threat out of the way for Jackie. Yeah, but here's the next one. Absolutely. Yeah, so now what's the play? Probably just Siphon Soul, right? Yeah. Like, uh, the AK Wonder runs Spellbreaker. That might be very crucial because, uh, like, if he has Cairn and uh, give it Ancestor's Skull, or Ancestor's Spirit is the card, I guess. Uh -huh. the, then silencing it is doing incredible job, so... And Silence now. is also really good in the, in the mirror, I feel like. Yeah. Like, it depends. Against cube version, if there is... If you know your opponent is playing Spellbreaker, like, in the cube version, you have this, uh, the the... Garbage sacrifice or minion. So if you play the rain, you can play it and immediately kill it to avoid the silence. So 
Uh, but yeah, this spellbreaker is definitely a very good uh, resource. So no demon died, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time. It's the second saddest cooldown again. Oh, well, this works. It clears the board, but only eight health left for Akawandu. It's a good job crushing hands can't go face. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> well, I guess that would be probably a little bit too strong. <laughs> just, a, just a smidge. A little bit better, Ava Burst. Yeah, maybe. Crackle. Forget <laughs> Crackle. This guy always hits for eight. And I can kill the 6-6 six, six if he wants. And go face with Jade Claws. Almost there, but still too far. Yeah, the burst potential of this deck doesn't seem to be <laughs> too good. No. Yeah. yeah all so the is left. So does Jackie have to crush the your hand away the 6-6? Six, six? Yeah, he may not if you don't want to. Because he, he has Vulcano in hand. He's going to do it. No, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Uh, but I, I would go face with Claws every day, right? Yep. So you would overload for uh, four then? That's a lot of overload, but it does upgrade the spell stone. Like you don't, don't have anything to do next turn anyway. Yeah. Like, those spell stones. It doesn't matter that much. Spell stones look pretty, but... Yeah, like, just spell stones are happy, I like this game, but... Like, they're happy, but they're not doing they're, anything. Maybe they're not happy because they cannot be used on, on a minion, so maybe they're not that happy. Should have used it on the 1-1 one, one Storm Guardian. You, you can it. you can taunt uh, totems forever. Yeah. So what's the play here? The Gul'dan? So many you go to 13, so you are basically at 10, it's so you shouldn't die. Does he want to play a, a Void Lord first? Yeah, I Ma think so. Maybe, maybe. Mm. He saw one hex. Because like, if you want to develop these Void Lords, then it doesn't matter. You increase your hero power because you don't have uh, crystals to squeeze it in. So maybe you just want to go Void Lord and then get a full value. Yeah. Not a full value. It depends. Like, if it go, will get hexed, do your value will not increase. But like, yeah, now, now the board is not big. So now it's good time to sneak the Void Lord in. Yeah, you still don't die to a second hex. Why wouldn't you play it? Yeah. The, the only reason why not playing it would be uh, uh, Okan, but... Okay, there's Loot Herder. And you can copy the Loot Herder and draw a lot of cards. <laughs> well... <laughs> like, we, in, if he wouldn't be overloaded, it would be a real, really worth considering. It would be. Yeah. He'd get four Loot Hoarders, his hand is just trash at the moment, so... I think he'd have to, but... Maybe now he has to play Volcano or something. No, so you don't bad. need to play Volcano on it's single only three, damage. Or three damage. Yeah. You don't want four torn totems then? Nah, he's gonna play the Lizard yeah. That's fine. No. <laughs> so is he saving the harder to play it with Spellstone? No, he's just no. going aboard with that. Yeah. He's, I, I mean, he's got to hope that he draws a card that he can play with the Spellstone that's better than Loot Hoarder, maybe. What is it like? Uh, I don't know if he's running <laughs> Snow Fury Giant or not. I didn't catch the game earlier, I just saw snippets, but. Surely it's. Like, I there. see like two spell Spellstones, I don't see any minions, which is <laughs> worth to get, so. If he gets the Snow Fury from but the But like this is like kind of bossy play. Now now if the Devolve plus Jade Lightning would come down, he would be dead. But he, maybe he knows the deck is there Snow Jade Lightning. I don't think there's Jade Lightning. Yeah. No. Maybe, oh. uh, maybe he has to play the Spellstone now. Like, yeah, I would probably like, go with oh. Or maybe he knows that he needs this big value out of minion. So if you, let's say, mm -hmm. you use one Spellstone to, for the cycle, maybe you don't have enough value in the deck. Mm -hmm. Uh, against the Warlock, so maybe it could be that you have to keep it. And There's still two Twisting Nethers in Akawanda's hand. I, I really think he's starting to turn a corner here. Okay, far side. All right, that's... So th that can fine. set up a good combo for, for Spellstone. Yeah. You yeah. play, let's say, Cairn for free mana, then you immediately Spellstone. Oh, uh, no! Okay. Oh, no. Not quite getting the tool he needs. Okay, so Volcano. Is it even clearing? It's exactly 15. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Okay. And then he can... And then he can storm and turn after it. Yeah. yeah, it's a shame he can't fit in the storm this turn. Well, like, it's not a big deal. Like, these Volkers only attack for 6. And it's actually good because the board is fooled. So if the Gul'dan is played, it's not gonna bring these good guys, or, or bad guys, however you call, yeah. them, call them back, because, you know... Uh, Void Walkers in trench coats Yeah. Are apparently what we're calling these guys. Yeah. Three little kids standing on each other's shoulders, <laughs> dressing up like a man. Mm. So Jackie is playing patiently, and now I would expect to see the Gul'dan and start using this hero power to start working on Jackie's life total. But do you have to? 
Why, why don't you? Like, you don't have like that many ways how to sneak it in. I don't think it's that crucial to get these Void Lords back. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the sooner he gets that, that healing in, the better. Right? Like, you, ju you just deal six, six health thing every turn. It's too much. Yeah. But you, you are not afraid of dying, so health isn't a problem for you at the moment. Yeah, but That's, you set up a clock. Is he definitely not afraid of dying? Like, he doesn't know Jackie's entire list, and... There are a few mm -hmm. cards just sitting there in the hand. And also, like in terms of resources overall, like the tap doesn't do anything while the free damage d do something. So if you expect yeah, this, I shall will go. But to you can't use hero power if you play a nine drop. Anyhow, like, like what the nine drop does actually? Uh, maybe target people. And uh, yeah, build support. So yeah, but the board will probably die to volcano plus storm anyway. So. And then you will storm have first, and then volcano, yeah. And and then you will have and then storm after. And then you will have six void walkers on the board, so the Gul'dan will not get any value anyhow. So I would go with the Gul'dan previous turn. I'm okay. So it's it's trade storm volcano, and then maybe storm again. No, there's no mana for that. Yeah, it's cost eleven. Yeah. So <laughs> and there's it's only not nine available. All it's right. not working unless you are druid with inner raid. But okay, there's spell power. That's so good. It's decent. So double storm is it play or? Yeah, Double Storm's fine, right? It's guaranteed to clear all of these guys. Or it's only Single Star, maybe? Or it's Volcano, or... Why did he trade well, this, first? Well, this way, if it hits for four, then he can Storm again, and it, it deals with the Void Lord. But, like, why don't you Storm first to see what happens, and then you attack oh, somewhere? Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Like it, and I'm not sure about this sequencing, because now we kill the one free, so... So the... The Gul'dan brings more, more guys back. Like... He can get unlucky and get the Void Walkers. Yeah, but this, this volcano is looking like it's going to do less and less as time goes on. Yeah, I don't like this play at all. And that's both storms gone. Oh boy. And okay. Okay, well, there's no we Void Lords, no so void that's Lord. something. But only one, uh, one Void Walker. So. Okay, so if one freeze should go face because of volcano, right? Because like double storm was already used, so I'm not sure. So <laughs> now, uh, but on the other hand, you you have um, Maelstrom Portal. Okay, there. But I'm not sure if it's in the deck, but probably it is, right? Um, I think we saw it earlier on. Okay, okay, okay. Then, then. Is Vulcano kind of gonna even clear something? I don't know. Jackie didn't look too happy a second ago. Nope, yeah, and that's it's GG. Yeah. Little. Unbelievable. That looked so close. It did look like Jackie had that for quite a long time. He got off to a very good start that series, but I can wonder with the control warlock once again really being yes, no. his MVP. The warlock is good fast. Yeah.